Russian President Vladimir Putin and his Chinese counterpart, Xi Jinping have signed a joint statement on deepening the comprehensive strategic partnership between their nations at a summit that framed their relationship as a stabilizing force in a chaotic world. Speaking at a joint press conference on Thursday, she said, China is willing to jointly achieve the development and rejuvenation of our respective countries and work together to uphold fairness and justice in the world. The Chinese president described the relationship as a stabilizing force in the world in the face of rising hegemony, no doubt referring to the United States. She added, Putin expressed gratitude to Xi for efforts to resolve the war in Ukraine. He criticized the United Nations and the G20, saying that they needed to be depoliticized, that, that Russia and China would work together to improve security in the Asia Pacific. Said you, Putin condemned what he described as closed alliances in the region, she added no doubt referring to the AUKUS pact between Australia, the United Kingdom and the United States, which Beijing considers as an alliance designed to contain China. Trade was an important aspect of the meeting, with Xi highlighting that bilateral trade had increased by 170% over the past 10 years with potential to expand, describing their initial session as warm and comradely. Putin outlined sectors where the two countries are strengthening ties from nuclear and energy cooperation to food supplies and Chinese car manufacturing in Russia. The visit comes days after Russia launched a new offensive in Ukraine's northeastern Kharkiv region and as it claims advances on the 1,000 kilometers 600 mile long front line, where Ukrainian forces have been hampered by delayed deliveries of weapons and ammunition from the United States. She told Putin that the relationship between their countries had stood the test of time and that they had provided each other with strategic guidance in their more than 40 meetings over the past decade. China is ready to work with Russia to stay each other's good neighbor, good friend, and good partner. State news agency Xinhua reported she is saying the leaders had declared a no. Limits partnership days before Putin sent his troops into Ukraine in February 2022. In March 2023, when she visited Moscow, he described a new era in the country's relationship, while in October, when Putin last visited Beijing, she spoke of this deep friendship between them. Before the two-day visit, Putin, 71, said his choice of China as his first foreign destination since being sworn in as president for a fifth term underlined the unprecedentedly high level of the strategic partnership between the two countries as well as his close friendship with Xi, 70. Russian President Vladimir Putin and his Chinese counterpart, Xi Jinping have signed a joint statement on deepening the comprehensive strategic partnership between their nations at a summit that framed their relationship as a stabilizing force in a chaotic world. Speaking at a joint press conference on Thursday, she said, China is willing to jointly achieve the development and rejuvenation of our respective countries and work together to uphold fairness and justice in the world. The Chinese president described the relationship as a stabilizing force in the world in the face.